Now, talking about benefit is what brings me to why you should refinance. Because of course, just because you can refinance does not mean that you should. So let's talk about first some of the reasons that you may not have thought of why you could refinance. So uh, one, uh, I'll probably go through seven different reasons why you can refinance. Let's get into uh, arm to fix. So you are currently in an adjustable rate mortgage and the mortgage rates are probably going up and you're able to refinance into a fixed rate mortgage and then have the peace of mind that you will now have the same rate of mortgage until the end of the term. So moving from arm to fixed could be an option. Sometimes the opposite could be true, is that you could move from fixed to arm because say the adjustable rate mortgages are significantly lower in rate than fixed rate mortgage and you may not have plans to live in the house say for next 15 or 30 years, maybe only about three or five years and then moving from fixed to arm may be an option. Uh, so those are your first two reasons, right? Let's look at number three and number four. The three is, let's say you want to move from a shorter term to a longer term. Now, why would you do that? Why would you go from, let's say if you have 20 years left on a mortgage, why would you change that to 30 years and extend your mortgage by 10 years? The reason you would do that sometimes is when you want lower payment. So I don't know, maybe somebody uh, in the family who was on the mortgage lost your, lost the job, either you or your spouse, and you want the stability uh, of payment, but a lower payment because you don't know until when you will go back to the same kind of income that you had, or you had some expenses come up uh, that you didn't have before or you did not plan for before, and now you want to get into, say, a lower payment. So you will move from a shorter term loan to a longer term loan and that will most likely reduce your payment if you have similar interest rate on those two mortgages. The second, again, the vice versa, the opposite of it could be true, is that you are moving from a longer term mortgage to a shorter term mortgage. And the reason why we would do that is because of two reasons. One, of course, you will pay off your mortgage much faster because now you're moving from, say, if you had 20 years left on your mortgage, you could move from 20 to 15. The second huge benefit is the fact that you could save tens and thousands, in some cases even hundreds of thousands of dollars in interest costs. The shorter that your loan is, the lower interest that you pay, even if these, even if some cases the interest rate is higher on a shorter term loan, you could still save tens and thousands of dollars in interest cost. So we have talked about the top four reasons so far. Let's keep moving into five, six, and seven. Five could be just to get a cash out. Maybe you have a big expense coming up and your home has fair amount of equity. The, the value has gone up in the, in the last few years or you have made extra payment towards your principal. What you can do is that you can, in most cases, borrow up to about 80% of your home value. So let's say if your home value is $500,000, you could borrow up to $400,000, but say if your first mortgage is already at $300,000, now you can get a cash out of $100,000. So you can take cash out both as a refinance, so you could combine your first mortgage and get a cash out, or you could just get as a standalone second mortgage like a home equity line of credit, and you can get a cash out. Okay, that reason number five. Let's go to six, which is elimination of mortgage insurance. So when you bought the home, you did not pay 20% down payment. Most likely you ended up with a mortgage insurance, uh, especially if you got an FHA loan or a conventional mortgage. Of course, VA loans do not have any annual or monthly mortgage insurance. But if that happened and the home's value has gone up in the last few years, or if you have made significant payment towards your principal, in either case, you might be able to eliminate mortgage insurance if your equity in the home, which is your current balance, compared to what the estimated home value is, is more than 20%. So once you get to that level, uh, there are multiple ways in which you can el eliminate mortgage insurance. In some cases, that might require refinancing, especially if the rates are lower than what you have, you should definitely consider refinancing. So those are your six reasons. And the seventh is the most likely reason, the most obvious one that most homeowners and borrowers follow, which is get a lower interest rate. So I could be sitting at six and a half percent interest rate. And if the mortgage rate that I can get now, it's say, let's say 6%, and I can get that with very little closing cost, then it makes sense for me to move from a higher interest rate to a lower interest rate. So that caps the top seven reasons why you should be refinancing a mortgage and the timing 
of when you should be doing it. Again, the timing is driven mostly by the kind of benefits that you can get. If you want to get a customized, personalized, live mortgage interest rate code and want even comparisons or recommendation to figure out if refinancing makes sense or not, visit us at instamortgage.com.